This is Aout USB and today it's Sunday, uh, 15th of June 2014 and uh, the time is just a few minutes after the markets open, half an hour after the markets open for the new trading week. I'm Sofia Stavlopoulou and this is the video signal for Forex ID Academy members. Uh, we are looking at the H4 time frame of the pair that I'm using a Timoku Kinko Hio, Bollinger Bands, Fractals and Stochastics. Uh, everything looks bullish, although we had those uh, six candlesticks of uh, uh, five candlesticks in a row of uh, downward move uh, before the markets close uh, on Friday. Um, and all those stochastics on the daily time frame have crossed below 811 line. This, the, the, the new trading week has started with bullish intentions and let's go and see the bigger picture here. Wow, we have this crazy, wild, bullish appetite of the, of the pair. Uh, we see stochastics going straight up here on the weekly time frame. Um, we see that the median Bolger band is curved upwards, the lower Bolger band is curved upwards and we expect an expansion and uh, we see that this W that I had told you about um, a few days ago um, leads to a very strong uh, bullish breakout here for the pair and everything looks um, the biases are bullish on the monthly time frame although the the pair the price is moving inside the Kumo biases are bullish we had a, a bullish uh, price 10 concern cross uh, 10 concern is the red line of Ichimoku Kinko Hio and uh, on the weekly we are about to have a bullish Kumo breakout of course it may take uh, a few weeks or we may see a very big candlestick uh, most possibly we it will take a few weeks but for now we see that the pair is not interested in making a statistical validation plunge down to the medium Bolger band at 0 0.93 10 or 93 something uh, level. Uh, it looks like it wants to fly higher before it makes a plunge. On the H4 uh, we should wait to make sure that the, the price will make a very strong uh, bullish uh, cross with 10 Kansen. If this doesn't happen then odds are that the corrective move will continue downwards okay uh, while the price is balancing on the median Bollinger band and uh, while we see this down fractal here odds are that the pair will continue upwards but if we see a strong bearish candlestick going down then it means that uh, the correction must happen and after it it will resume its uptrend. Uh, the same on the daily on the H1 time frame um, we see that uh, although the stochastics were showing a corrective mood the markets opened with uh, bullish intentions and the bullish intentions get stronger and stronger as we see on the M15 but on H4 I suggest you wait for a strong bullish price 10 consent cross and enter uh, when the next candlestick uh, opens and uh, after an hour also to make sure that it will be bullish so be a bit patient and you will be rewarded. Um, now the leading Kumo is bullish but its edge is not 
sharp pointing upwards, we want it to be sharp pointing upwards. That will happen when we see the price then can send cross. If you enter from H4, uh, place your stop 150 pips below and uh, your take profit target here should be placed uh, a few pips below the upper Bollinger Band on the weekly time frame. Uh, the price level is 0 0.9547 so place your take profit target at 0 0.9520 9520 would be okay um, now if you want if you are uh, more aggressive and you want to, to go scalping then use the, A the M15 time frame enter and they're long by uh, when you see a, a strong bullish candlestick like this crossing above Tenkan Sen, red line of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo with stochastics going up. Ride the trend, and when you see the opposite, a bearish candlestick like here crossing and closing below Tenkan Sen, the red line of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, uh, exit, wait for the downward move, and when you see a bullish uh, price tank can send cross on M15, ride the trend again and continue till uh, an opposite cross of the price with ten can send uh, gives you a signal to exit. Thanks for watching and happy pips.